Fenside is an estate just outside Boston. It's a mixed community. It's an area of economic deprivation. It's got a lot of people who have been far removed from the labour market. Some families around here have three generations of people who have not worked. It's always been given a bad name. Fenside is not that bad a community. When we first moved down this side, I was from the other side of town, and it was, oh, you don't want to be going down there. But I said, a house is what you make it, which is a home. And we've been very happy down here. We've had no problems whatsoever. Everybody welcomed us with open arms, and the community spirit around here is fantastic. What we've tried to do with Transported is, is ignite that community spirit and bring people together through a whole range of different arts activities. There aren't many people on that estate that engaged with the arts before Transported started. I don't think they thought it was them, they didn't think it was accessible. So kind of by taking what we did right onto the heart of their community has meant that they've been able to engage in projects almost without thinking it's an arts project, but really about enhancing their community and making their, their environment and the place they live better. In one estate you've got the possibility of reaching out to lots and lots of people that would consider themselves not to be artists or engagers in art and culture. We targeted this area particularly with it being a low income area therefore their, their top priority was paying their bills, was feeding their children the arts didn't come into it. So we wanted to offer them a new experience and, and, and show them that, that there is a place for the arts and that actually it can help benefit them in their lives. We first commissioned Paul Floyd Blake to do a series of photographs that were portraits of people that lived on the Fenside estate that could then go on to the community centre to be a clear signal that the community centre was the centre of that new community. Well part of the, the project is to actually get, encourage people to come along and use the community centre and that's because not many people are using it. We sort of turned it on its head really and rather than uh, waiting for people to come to us we decided to go out into the community and, and just knock on doors and start talking to people and encouraging them to be part of the project. Paul took a lot of time out on the streets, walking around the estate, talking to people. And it wasn't just a case of he stood there and took photographs of people passing. He got to know people. I don't usually have my photo taken, but it is a good one. I must admit, it really is a good one. The pictures he takes are really just unbelievable. I think it kind of captures who these people really are and their lives on the estate. In the summer of 2015, we offered a summer programme of circus workshops, which was an opportunity for young people and adults to take part in circus skills. We had a really great bunch of young people who came and they did circus work from, from clowning work to, to aerial work, which is a really challenging skill, but none of them ever gave up at any point. They were so determined and I can't believe how far they came in three days. It was fantastic. I've got twin girls who have participated in this experience. It's been wonderful for them. They've really enjoyed it and they've just been really good fun for them. It's a good opportunity and there's, it's fun. It's not something you would usually get to do. I think it's important to get more people involved in things like this. Like I've only just started doing things like this as it's come closer to home. Whereas before I'd have to travel for like an hour or something to get an opportunity like this. The idea was just to really make a nice little intimate portrait of, of the, a space in their home, just you know, picking up on little photos and little ornaments and, and things that they'd collected over time. And part of that is to actually sort of show the creativity of, of people. I mean, in, in quite a lot of cases, they don't realise that what they are doing is actually making beautiful, creative little spaces within their homes. Oh, we photographed cooking utensils, which you think, well, to take a photograph of a kitchen utensil would never come out like it did. Marvellous. Things on people's beds, tigers, all things like that. Simple little things would never show up with a, a good photograph, 
But they were brilliant, they were all really good, fantastic. I'm part of the Fenside Dance Group because I really like dancing and I wanted to like express feelings and to have a lot of fun. This type of classes just give them that extra opportunity to actually do dance because they all really enjoy it and I mean some of them have even said that they want to become dancers so they want to do it professionally later on. They actually really keen, they're actually outside the door before it actually starts, they're all waiting to come in and they've actually even asked for an extra hour to actually say they can have a good practice before their next performance. It gained me confidence not being shy in front of the audience when we perform and I have more friends again. <laughs> I think Transporters' involvement has made an impact that has been good for the area, good for the people, good for the community and has been an open arms to everybody. I think it's just given them something that most people have never experienced before and um, probably didn't know whether they wanted to experience it before but because it's been part of their community rather than as a arts workshop. They've had a go and they've tried it and most of them have loved it. You know sometimes arts isn't for everyone and we have to accept that but what we do have to do is provide opportunities for people to experience it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs>